ओम भूर्भुस्वितुरवरेण्यम भर्गो देवश्रीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया ओम शांति 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 इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब आत्म साक्षात्कार और सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन This is the direct awareness of the self. Self means Atma. So this is the direct awareness of the self, graciously expounded to Guha by Ishra himself, Shiva, the foremost and first Lord, seated as the self in my heart. so this has been stated by bhagwan sri ramna maharishi as per bhagwan sri ramna maharishi lord shiva or god himself takes the form of atma present in the spiritual heart of each and every living being now this is the statements of lord shiva that shiva further says number 1 guha i shall tell you about a different way to reach that reality which pervades partless in all to settle the to be grasped by the mind second by which the knowledge of awareness is well attained knowing which to become shiva himself that has not been told to any by me today from me that wisdom here three handed down by the lineage of gurus and beyond the can of logicians this is for liberation from the bondage of the birth death cycle its supreme vision shines at all places for he who is the one pervading all things he who has many faceted as all he who has faces in all directions who is beyond thought who remains himself as all the verities and transcends them to is the self he transcends all verities he is the he is beyond the reach of speech mind and name i am that shiva self thus you should meditate with perfectly undifferentiated mind on shiva 6 firmly established as the eternal entity imperishable and undifferentiated the all pervasive partless knowledge that cannot be fathomed by the mind it shines with nothing prior to compare seven without stain in destructible the totally serene the knowledge transcending all objects beyond the pale of thought conception and doubt that supreme i am no doubt about this eight that supreme divinity shiva indeed am i of the nature of all the mantras and 
transcending all the mantras devoid of dissolution and creation 9 what is visible what is invisible the moving and stationary all these are pervaded by me i am the lord of this universe all shine because of me 10 <coughs> filled with a variety of forms one different from the other filled with a galaxy of worlds all this universe from shiva down to the earth are all established in me 11 whatever is seen in this world whatever is heard in this world whatever shines conceptualized as inside and outside all these are pervaded by me the all pervading one realize this 12 though considering himself the self he desires to attain that shiva the supreme self as one apart whoever contemplates on shiva thus in delusion will not attain shiva hood by such contemplation know this 13 shiva is other than i i am other than shiva uproot this attitude of differentiation i indeed am shiva this conviction that is non-dual ever practice 14 full of this non-dual conviction he who everywhere abides ever in the self shall see in all things in all bodies only that shiva self of this there is no doubt i explain these terms see atma and shiva are not different atma is shiva shiva is atma further i explain atma of each and everybody is same because every atma is part and parcel of shiva shiva means god 15 whoever has this conviction always of the self shall rid himself of delusion and dual perception that yogi will attain to omniscience so it is said in the vedas this you should know 16 he who is praised in all scriptures as the unborn the Ishvara, that formless and attributeless self he indeed i am there is no doubt about this 17 only he who does not know his true nature is the shiva is the jiva that is subject to the dharmas characteristics of birth death and so on he who knows his true self is one who is eternal he is the pure he is shiva without doubt know this let me clarify the difference between atma and jiva 
when the atma is embodied in the human body and it exists there with the help of vital force that is prana shakti so this we call as individual soul or jiva but in the real sense atma is omniscient omnipotent omni present like lord shiva but the embodied soul or the personal soul present in the human spiritual heart is having the wheels of mind ego maya and tendencies propensities vasanas so we we may say that why atma as being indefinite omniscient omnipotent omnipresent the individual atma is finite the reason being the atma of an individual is veiled by ego mind vasanas and maya so we can see our atma as omniscient omnipotent omnipresent by removing the veils like mind ego vasanas and maya etc 17 only he who does not know his true nature is the jiva that is subject to the dharmas characteristics of birth death and so on he who knows his true self is one who is eternal he is the pure he is shiva without doubt know this when a sadaka is able to eliminate his mind ego vasanas and maya he is called to be a self realized person a gyani and he will not come to this world under the death and birth cycle 18 hence what man of discrimination should enquire carefully and directly realize is the self that itself shines to fold as the transcendental and the inferior divisions the gross and the subtle 19 the supreme nirvana is the higher the inferior is manifest as the creation mantras are spoken of as its gross form what abides in changeless awareness is the subtle 20 sanmukha without realizing it atma what avails explanations there of in endless ways tell me all these are only a wonderful display of words the cause for the delusion of the mind 
21 all the dharmas qualities abide in the self which ever of them the individual self jiva imagines whereby he concentrates his thoughts again and again on it he will attain that object there is no doubt of this further i explain difference between ego and atma when a person identity fies his self with the body then we say this is individual self jiva or ego <clears throat> number 22 thus has been told by me as the knowledge of the self what has been gathered succinctly in a condensed form all by any means is of the nature of the self realizing this may you ever be strengthened in the thoughts of the self 23 the deities the vedas the fire sacrifices the various gifts to priest in the course of their performance none of this exists there in the nature of the self be tuned to the blamelessness omni facetted stayed fast knowledge of the self <clears throat> 24 to the jiva drowning in the vast ocean of the birth death cycle and seeking a refuge what affords refuge is only that knowledge of the self not anything else know this 25 he who becomes of the nature of the supreme and realizes it as it really is <coughs> shall though experiencing all changing states attain liberation without effort be aware of this here i explain the term liberation when we are able to eliminate mind vasnas ego and the veil of maya <coughs> then we see our atma this is the stage of liberation or self realization we are already liberated but we are under the ignorance of being in the form of ego mind and maya 26 there is no greater blessing anywhere apart from the gaining of the self meditate ever on the self he who is the self he indeed is the one all pervasive supreme self be aware of this 27 it is not the prana vital air nor the apana the air that travels down even nor the instruments superior even to these the senses mind and such reach ever for the thought of the self that is the omniscient 
and the perfect 28 it is neither inside nor outside not afar not nor nearby nor does it fit in any place that supreme is formless all pervasive and effulgent direct your thoughts over to it 29 it is across above and below inside and outside which are divisions ever established firmly everywhere the void the self luminous self ever meditate on that more and more 30 not a void not a non void it is also the non void and the void pervasive everywhere but without predilections ever think of this self 31 afflictionless and without any sport for itself be reft of caste name and form that taintless attributeless self you should unceasingly meditate upon 32 with no refuse with nothing to support it beyond the range of comprehension without parallel faultless by nature the eternal the self has the self that is so meditate upon it joyfully forever 33 embracing dispassion and thus desisting from all karmic activity shying away from society one should thereafter ever meditate upon the self within oneself in oneself by oneself be aware of this 34 country and lineage the traditional caste and style of life affecting various thoughts arising in the wake of these the wise men should meditate daily upon his real nature what is real nature our atma is our real nature our atma is the natural bliss and natural peace when we say atma that indicates bliss peace and our real nature that is called sat chit ananda existence consciousness and bliss 35 this is the mantra this is the deity this is indeed what is called meditation this indeed is tapas casting afar all such thoughts concentrate on the nature of your own self 36 the self is without thought make it impossible for the thought oriented mind to think at all make the mind that thinks to get settled on the self let not the mind think of anything else the mind is the mind is created by the thoughts arising from the self 
the continuity of thoughts arising from the atma give rise to the mind and ego when these thoughts and ego are going outwardly the mind and ego are attached with the affairs of the world are having negative energy but the same mind thoughts and ego direct it to move towards the self towards the spiritual heart that time they are attached with the positive energy they are in the pure form so pure mind is nothing but the self 37 the self is not something that can be thought of nor is it something that cannot be thought of it is not thought itself it is indeed it self thought what does not lean towards any of the above the supreme that is the self ever meditate upon it 38 meditate ever on that which is beyond the reach of the mind allowing no refuse for the mind the joy that is attained in abundance in that self that is beyond all verities and complete 39 without any differences and beyond the reach of thinking without any precedent without anything similar that which is the utmost frontier and extolled as the supreme bliss be emerged in it 40 discarding all desire for objects destroying the modes of the mind the non dual state of being the one when the mind ceases to be is the one called supreme bliss 41 all directions all places all times are conductive for the yoga of the self so say the scriptures differences of caste and orders of life and such cannot cause any differences in the least to the nature of knowledge 42 the color of milk is one the colors of the cows many so is the nature of knowledge observe the wise ones beings of various marks and attributes are like the cows their realization is the same this is an example we should know i will explain this example see every human being has atma and attributes of the atma of each individual is the same but different comes due to the veiling of atma by mind ego vasanas and maya so this is the reason people are honest people are dishonest people are gentle people are fighter type so this is all due to the 
differences in their thought process. 43. Reality. Brahma intimately pervades all. It shines with faces in all directions. Established in it without a pause, think not of differences such as regions and directions. 44. In this world itself, there is no mark, lifestyle or tradition for the one who becomes of the nature of the self. He has nothing to gain by any action of his, nor action need he perform. No action need he perform, nor any injunctions prescribing actions apply to him. Know this. 45. Moving or standing or sleeping, waking or taking food or water, in the face of the wind, the cold and the sun, unaffected will he be in any state at any time. I'll explain this. See, the environmental factors affect our body, mind and ego, but our Atma remains unaffected by any external climatic or environmental factors. Simple. 46. Fear, indigence, sickness, burning, burning fever, indigestion, even when all these affect one established in the self, peaceful and shining full. Bodily imbalances will not affect our Atma. Only our body will be sufferer. Atma will be free from all the ailments of our body. He is never at his wits and on any count he will savor the satisfaction of the self. 47. Whether going forward or returning, I am not the one that moves. When inquired into, there is no going or coming. In the ever-changing dharma of prakriti, the cause of illusive creation, I never was emerged, nor am I now. 48. All activities prescribed are the work of prakriti, the illusion. Prakriti, so spoken of, is the source of all action. I am the immaculate, I am the actionless, thus indeed will reflect the wise man, the knower of truth. 49. For him there is no bondage of Prakriti, the delusion. He has earned the name of the liberated one. He shall never be touched by the defects spoken of as the action of Prakriti. 50. The manner in which a lamp shines, destroying darkness with its light, in like manner by destroying the enveloping darkness arising from inexplicable ignorance, the self of the nature of the pure light of knowledge shines. 51. Even as the lamp with the fuel of ghee spent attains peace, 
द योगी कंटिन्यूसली कंटेम्पलेटिंग ऑन द ट्रूथ ऑफ द सेल्फ विल बी एट पीस इन द सेल्फ नथिंग ग्रेटर इज देयर टू बी अटेंड देन द सेल्फ दिस इज द ट्रूथ फिफ्टी टू when the pot is carried the space within the pot though conceived of as carried is not the pot only that is carried the self to like space remains motionless 53 when the pot breaks the space in the pot merges one with the great space when the inert body passes away the self seemingly in the body becomes immediately one with the supreme self 54 thus the lord who is omniscient spoke with authority then one who is liberated severed from all bondage becomes all pervasive and less with absolute awareness 55 discarding totally all the agmas attaining the pure smadhi of atma yoga realizing by do and query there is nothing else greater than this destroy all wrong ideas in the mind of difference 56 meditating continuously on the great knowledge thus that yogi who attains ever the body less nature that pure gyani whose dharma is the dharma of that body less nature alone is the liberated one shining inside and out reaching across to every place 57 omniscience and bliss and mature wisdom remaining independent limitless strength attaining all these he shines ever the self without afflictions with an immaculate body he as the self merges in shiva 58 japa of the name worship bathing in holy waters ritual sacrifices none of these or others are needed the fruits of dharma and adharma water oblations to four fathers none of these are for him 59 no injunctions injunctions for observance no fast nothing required by way of getting into or out of any action no vows of celibacy for him no this 60 not having any recourse to falling into the fire or water or falling from the mountain top enjoy the feast of the knowledge of shiva eternal and pure rid of the rules apply applying to all creation move about as you please 61 i tell you this is the truth the truth the truth thrice over there is nothing greater than this nothing greater is there to be known nothing at all no where ever 62 
rid of any blemish, rid of ignorance with pure intellect, being the pure self, by the pure conviction that all that is seen is pure, meditating on the immaculate nature, he shall attain awareness. I summarized these very important points once again at the end of this video. My dear friends, our Atma is omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent like Lord Shiva or Brahma. But we are not able to experience the omnipresence, omniscience and omnipotency of our Atma because due to the veiling of our Atma by our mind, ego, vasanas, mayas and sanskaras carried over from our previous births. So, due to this, the omniscient Atma is confined to the state of a finite entity. To realize the real nature of our Atma, we have to try to eradicate our mind, thought process, ego, will of Maya and Vashnas. We have to put our own efforts to achieve this goal. It is not very difficult, but at the same time it is difficult for those who do not want to put the real efforts. Bhagwan Sri Ramana Maharshi has revealed the most effective process of self-realization that is using the process of who am I? Who am I should not be used as a mantra but it should be used to inquire about who am I. In this who am I, who is the inquiry, is, is the existence, I is here, that is the important fact. This I is our ego. So question is put by the ego to the ego. Repeatedly when the ego puts questions to itself, the ego is hurt, it feels insulted 
and repeating the same inquiry this ego becomes weak by more and more practice this ego becomes weaker weaker and finally it vanishes forever when the ego vanishes the arising of thoughts from the atma also ceases because our thoughts are caused by the ego and the vasanas present in our chit or subconscious mind when the ego is eliminated ego is nothing but the identification of the self with the body i am the body this is the false false awareness this is non atma this is non atmic entity and this is the cause of all our pains sufferings and indulgence into the cycle of birth and death so we have to put sincere efforts to eradicate the ego mind maya and vasanas so the process of self enquiry explained by bhagwan sri ramna maharshi is the most direct method for self realization leading to liberation so thank you for watching this video thank you my dear friends namaskar i further give the explanations by bhagwan sri ramna maharishi about self realization or atm shakshatkar this will be in the form of questions put by devotees to maharishi and thereby reply by the maharishi question what is the self referred to in atma संस्थान फिक्सिंग इट इन द सेल्फ महर्षि रिप्लाइज डू यू नॉट नो योर सेल्फ यू सर्टनली एग्जिस्ट और डू यू डिनाई योर एग्जिस्टेंस द क्वेश्चन मे अराइज हु इज द सेल्फ ओनली इफ यू डू नॉट एग्जिस्ट बट यू कैनॉट आस्क एनी थिंग अनलेस यू एग्जिस्ट एट द सेम टाइम your question shows that you exist find out who you are that's all next question i have read many books but my mind does not turn to the self mercy ramna replies because the self is not in the books but it is in you reading books makes one learned that is its purpose and it is fulfilled question what is atma sakshatkara self realization maharshi replies you are the atma self and that sakshat here and now also where is the place for kara accomplishment in it this question shows that you think you are the non self or you think that there are two selves the one to realize the other it is absurd that you identify yourself with the cross body lies at the root of this question 
well this question arises now did it arise in your sleep did you not exist then certainly you did exist in sleep what is the difference between these two states that the question should arise now but not in sleep now you think that you are the body you see things around you and you want to see the self in a similar manner such is the force of habit the senses are mere instruments of perception you are the seer remain as the seer only what else is there to see such is the state in deep sleep therefore this question does not arise then atma sakshatkara self realization is thus only anatma nirasana giving up the non self atam sakshatkara that is self realization mind and senses try their best to get you emerged in maya all the time it is as difficult as making ganga river to flow back to its source to make the mind rest on atma by repeatedly training the mind through omkara or gayatri mantra or rama nama japa restless mind should be made to concentrate on atma to achieve peace of mind happiness bliss in this life and also to avoid repeated birth death cycle shruti says atma va are drishtavya srutavya manthavyo nidhi dhyasnatvya yajan valkya tells to his wife maitri that atma only to be seen heard repeated in mind concentrated on it take back the mind inside you to hear the where atma is seemingly located repeated effort patience determination renunciation and intense bhakti should take over you the self is without thought make it impossible for the thought oriented mind to think at all causing the mind to get settled on the self let not the mind to think anything else we have to meditate always on the self which is beyond the reach of the mind and extolled as the supreme bliss we have been brought up from our childhood to pray god as if he is outside us as source of supreme power and he will grant whatever we pray for this thought has to be wiped out and in its place i am atma that is brahma i am shiva has to be firmly established all places all directions all times are conductive for the sadhana practice of yoga of self differences of caste social status gender cannot cause any difference in the progress knowledge and experience of this yoga just as color of milk is white color of cows many now the question arises as to how antah karna mind is able to experience self experiencing self is definitely possible as we have seen 
many saints talk about that experience and from their experience many others are getting guided towards this illumination following shloka from karika of sri godapada charya shankracharya's gurus guru says atma satyanu bhodena na sankalpa yathe yada emanastham tadha yathi grahya bhave thada graham if one gets the knowledge of that soul is real satya mind will not give any sense of form then mind becomes mindless emanas because mind's sensing faculty and its result both will vanish there is no shape or form to sense when concentrating on self hence mind becomes incapable to grasp or stick to any form and becomes mindless we can observe a similar situation during deep sleep also when mind rest on prana thus in mindless state everything is seen as atma only and nothing else which is called amnastva mind merges in atma then the so called atma sakshatkara takes place in the case of a yogi who has accomplished kundalini jagrati samadhi state remaining as atma is easy as mindless state is achieved instantly and repeatedly depending on his duration of meditation and frequency as mentioned earlier atma is always shakshat here and now kara accomplishment is always there hence irrelevant as i am only atma and there is nothing in between blocking it word sakshat kara gives wrong usage as i am experienced by myself other forms of worship bathing in holy water japa or name oblations to fire as sacrifice none of these are needed fruits of dharma or adharma water oblations to forefathers none of these are for him highest level of purushartha achievement in human birth is the experience of self please note there is nothing else need be known or achieved other than this the face of the person who has experienced atma shines bright and remains peaceful he is beyond maya and not affected by it maya is the source of all action no action need be performed as he is action less and liberated he has attained awareness so this is the brief explanation by ramana maharishi to achieve the phenomenon of self realization leading to liberation thank you for watching this video namaskar